Cheers, everyone. It's me, Chia. It's very good to see you again. Today, we're going to read a story. Wink, the ninja who wanted to be noticed, by J. C. Phillips. Just what does it take to be a great ninja? Good balance. Colorful costumes, lots of enthusiasm, because Wink has all of these things, but Master Dutu is not impressed. What's a poor ninja to do? Let's find it out. It was the happiest day of Wink's life. When he was accepted to the Summer Moon School for Young Ninjas, Master Zutsu taught the students to be strong and practice the art of stealth. Silence is the weapon of the ninja, Master Zutsu said. But Wink could not be silent. Look at me! He hollered. Master Zutsu clapped like thunder, and raised one angry finger to his lips. Later, the ninjas practiced their positions. Roundhouse kick, Master Zutsu ordered. One by one, the young ninjas performed, and then there was wink. Yahoo! Mr. Jutsu's face twitched. The loudest cricket is the first to be caught. He sent Wink home. Grandmother greeted him. You look so sad, Wink Chan. The Lucky Dragon Circus has come. Let us go and regain your smile. Wink sank into a pillow. Ninja are stealthy and silent, he answered. They don't go to the circus. Time spent laughing is time well spent, grandmother said. Wink said nothing. And stared at the curtains. Those are nice and bright, he thought. The next day, Master Zutsu sent the students into a field. A ninja can disappear in any landscape, he said. The young ninjas became waving blades of grass. Blending into the countryside. Then there was Wink. Master Tutu frowned. The blossom that flaunts its color is soon plucked. But I'm being stealthy, Wink argued. I didn't make a sound. Silent to the ear. Invisible to the eye, that is the art of stealth. Master Zutsu proclaimed. He sent Wink home. Grandmother put in barley tea. Wink Chan, you look so serious. Wink sat down and sighed. Sometimes. A worry must rest," she said. "Let us go to the circus. You know the acrobats will cheer you. Ninja have no use for cheer," Wink replied. He drank his tea and left the room. The next day, he would try harder. On the field trip to the zoo, Wink saw a chance to make Master Zutsu proud. 
He climbed into the panda span and hid among the bamboo. Yahoo! Wink thought. No one sees me. I am super stealthy. I'm the greatest ninja in all the world. But if no one sees me, no one knows I'm super stealthy, and no one knows I'm a great ninja. He couldn't help it. Wink just wanted to be noticed. Master Tutu didn't say anything. He raised one arm and extended a long bony finger. Wink walked away with his head hanging. How could he show Master Tutu he was a good ninja? From the other side of the wall, he heard a cloud clink. A boy was busy stacking boards. And cans. What are you doing? Wink asked. Practicing, said the boy. He climbed on top of his deck and tried to stand, but fell over with a thud. Your legs are too stiff, Wink said. Knees bend like the breeze. Hips become strong like rocks. Wink sprang to the top to demonstrate. The boy's family watched and clapped. "Well done," said the father. A smile spread across Wink's face. "I can do more." So Wink came back the next day, and the next, and the next, and showed the boy and his family all the things he could do. He moves like a gazelle, swift and graceful. The martyr said, "His spirit shines like the morning sun." Added the father. One day, both Master Tutu and Wink's grandmother received special envelopes in the mail. Inside each was a ticket to the Lucky Dragon Circus. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to present the Ningbo Ninja. Wink burst into view, flying through the air like a glittering cannonball. He did axe kicks, fist strikes, hook punches, reverse chops, crescent kicks, iron palms. And front and back tornado flips. He even jacked fire sticks while balancing on a shoot of bamboo. Wink took a bow, and the audience clapped and cheered. Ramada said, "Your smile has come home." Mr. Tutu said, "Free flowing water." Will always find its way, and then there was Wink. Wink didn't say anything. He smiled and took another bow. Thank you for reading the story with me. Do you want to be a ninja too? What kind of power do you want if you are a ninja? You can write it out below to let me know. Okay? Let's review the last page. Wink smiled. Why did he smile? Is he happy? If he's happy, can you tell me why? Did he want to be a ninja or an acrobat? Okay, that's for today's story. See you next time. Bye bye.